The Revue de Métaphysique et de Morale is a French philosophy journal co-founded in 1893 by Léon Brunchvisigi, Xavier Léon and Ali Halevi. The journal initially appeared six times a year, but since 1920 has been published quarterly. It was the leading French-language journal for philosophical debates at the 20th century, hosting articles by Victor Delbos, Bergson, etc., and still exists today. Xavier Léon served as the first editor of the journal until his death in 1935, when he was succeeded by Dominique Parody. On Parody's death in 1955, the journal was headed by Jean Waal. It published in 1906 Bertrand Russell's article on the Berry Paradox, as well as articles by Louis Bachelier, the logicist Jean Nickard, the mathematician Henry Poincare, Gustave Bello, Felix Ravison, Celestin Bocquet, Henry Delacroix, concerning William James, Louis Couturat, Sully Prudhomme, Henry Maldini, Francine Bloch, Frédéric Rao, Jean Cavales, Julian Bender, Georges Poyer, Maurice Merleau-Ponty, Georg Simmel, etc. More recently, Barbara Casson, etc. <laughs> Some articles Poincaré, Henry Le Monsieur du Temps PDF, Revue de Métaphysique et de Morale, 6 1 13, reprinted in The Value of Science, 1905A. Delacroix, Henry. Les Varieties de l'Expérience Religieuse par William James. Revue de Métaphysique et de Morale, 11.5, September 1903, 642 669. Cavales, Jean. 1940. Du collectif au Paris. Revue de Métaphysique et de Morale, XLVII, 139-163. Merleau-Ponty, Morris. July to October 1947. La Métaphysique dans l'homme. Revue de Métaphysique et de Morale, 52 3-4, republished in Maurice Merleau-Ponty, Sense et non-sense, Paris, Editions Nagel, 1966, and in a 1966 edition of Sense et non-sense with new pagination by Editions Gallimard, NRF, in the series Bibliothèque de Philosophie, 1996, pp. 102-119. Simmel, Georg 1894. Le problème de la sociologie. PDF, Revue de Métaphysique et de Morale, archived from the original PDF on the 27th of September 2007, same text in RTF. Topic: See also 20th century French philosophy Wiles College Philosophique, whose lectures were sometimes published in the review. <laughs>